When you're feeling down, these scenes will remind you of how beautiful love can be. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie moments that made us believe in love. For this list, we're looking at our favorite uplifting romantic scenes from movies that make our hearts swell. Number 10. Love at First Sight – Romeo and Juliet William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet is one of the world's greatest tragic love stories. Seal with the righteous kiss. And when Baz Luhrmann adapted the tale for the big screen, we knew it was going to be good. The two young protagonists famously fall in love at first sight, kicking off their epic romance. And in Luhrmann's version, the key scene takes place at a party where they peer at each other through a fish tank. As the future lovers lock eyes, it's clear that there's a spark between them, and the attraction that they feel towards one another is immediately evident. Did my heart love till now? For swear at sight. For I never saw true beauty till this night. Number 9. We'll Always Have Paris, Casablanca. Sometimes love means letting someone go. The ending of the classic film Casablanca is iconic, largely because it doesn't offer audiences the happily ever after that they were expecting. You must remember this a kiss is just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. Rick and Ilsa have a deep love for one another, but Rick makes the difficult decision to put Ilsa on the plane with her husband, because he knows that it's what's best for her, even if it is difficult for him to say goodbye to the woman he loves. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Ilsa is devastated, but ultimately she obeys his orders, knowing that he's right. Love is not always easy, even in the movies. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. Number 8. You Had Me at Hello, Jerry Maguire. We love a good grand gesture speech, and that's exactly what we get at the end of Jerry Maguire. Show me the money! This is both a sports movie and a romance, with the chemistry between Renee Zellweger and Tom Cruise stealing the show. But it's this memorable interaction that produced not one but two of the most romantic and memorable movie lines of all time. There's Tom Cruise saying, You complete me. And Zellweger responding with, You had me at hello. Simple, but also just perfect. It also goes to show that you can fix things even when it seems like a relationship might be over for good. Woo! Woo! I love it! Number 7. Can't Take My Eyes Off You – 10 Things I Hate About You Speaking of grand gestures, this is probably one of the best examples from a rom-com we can think of. Just when it seems like he's royally screwed it all up, Heath Ledger's character in 10 Things I Hate About You pulls out all the stops to impress the girl he likes. Can't take my eyes off of you. Embarrassing himself in front of his fellow students, he gives a rendition of the classic tune Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Oh, pretty baby, don't bring me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I found you, stay and let me love you, baby. This scene sets totally unrealistic expectations for what teenagers are capable of, but hey, we're not complaining. Number 6. I'm in love with you speech The Fault in Our Stars. If you know the story of The Fault in Our Stars, you know it's one with as many sad as happy moments. I wouldn't mind. It'd be a privilege to have my heart broken by you. Considering it's about the love between two young cancer-stricken patients, viewers knew this movie likely wouldn't have a happily ever after at the end, but that didn't make watching Hazel and Augustus' story unfold any less beautiful. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're beautiful. When Augustus tells Hazel he loves her for the first time, he makes an impassioned speech that is full of darkness, but reminds us all that even in trying times, it's still possible to feel love. I am in love with you. And I know that love is just a shout into the void, and that oblivion is inevitable, and that we're all doomed, and that one day all of our labors will be returned to dust. And I know that the sun will swallow the only earth we will ever have. And I am in love with you. 
Number five, Landon helping Jamie with her list, a walk to remember. Before The Fault in Our Stars, there was another equally devastating teen romance with 2002's A Walk to Remember. Jamie is dying of cancer and has a bucket list of things she wants to accomplish. It's a, a to-do list I have, except for my life. The boy who loves her, Landon, helps her cross items off her list in one of the most adorable sequences that we can think of. He helps her figure out how to be in two places at once as well as get a tattoo, and ultimately fulfills her wish of getting married in the church where her parents were once wed. This movie may be heartbreaking, but we see that even a bad boy can change when true love exists. It's not possible. Number 4. You Have Bewitched Me, Body and Soul, Pride and Prejudice Not all great romances begin with love at first sight. Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy famously loathe each other when they first meet in Jane Austen's novel Pride and Prejudice. It would be most inconvenient since I just want to loathe him for all eternity. And though there have been many on-screen adaptations, the 2005 film added a line that's become one of our favorites. This movie is particularly beloved for the scene in which Darcy confesses his continued love for Elizabeth on the moors in an impassioned speech that leaves our hearts aflutter. I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, and love, and love you. How can anyone not respond positively to those words and the sincerity in his voice? We are all fools in love. Number 3. The Rain Kiss, The Notebook As far as movies from this century go, The Notebook is indisputably a modern classic. This is a good story. Ali and Noah have one of the most contentious and steamiest relationships ever committed to film. And a scene that cements this is the one where they passionately kiss in the rain. After spending years apart, when Ali learns that Noah was actually writing to her all along when she thought he had forsaken her. I wrote you 365 letters. I wrote you every day for a year. This has got to be one of the best movie kisses of all time. And it shows that passion can still burn bright even after years have passed. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Number 2. Harry's Speech – When Harry Met Sally Men and women can't be friends, right? What I'm saying is, and this is not a come on in any way, shape, or form, is that men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. That's the question posed in When Harry Met Sally, where Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan play a couple who spend many years towing the line between friendship and something more. Because I was upset that Joe was getting married. And one thing led to another. And before I knew it, we were kissing to make and a long story short, we, we did, did it. it. Before they realize it, it becomes clear to the audience that they're meant to be. But it only comes together when Harry rushes to see Sally at midnight on New Year's Eve and gives her a sweet speech about how much he loves her despite her quirks and flaws, culminating with the famous line, I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. When Harry Met Sally is the ultimate rom-com for me. Here are some other great moments in romantic films. But our number one pick makes my heart, well, go on. Bonita Aurelia, eu vim aqui para te pedir para casar comigo. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. I know this is a far throw from a hidden paradise. But wherever you are in the world, where I belong. I wish I knew how to quit you. Then why don't you? Why don't you just let me be, huh? Of course you don't speak any other language, right? Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. So I'm the crude, dumb, vulgar American who doesn't speak any other languages, who has no culture, right? But I tried. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. I'm Flying – Titanic It's one of the most famous scenes in movie history, and it never fails to make us swoon. Before everything takes a turn for the disastrous in Titanic, Jack and Rose are just two young people in love, with Rose finally giving in to the undeniable connection they have. Hello, Jack. I changed my mind. 
Jack has her step up to the railing of the ship and makes her feel like she's flying, with my heart will go on swelling in the background. The two share a romantic kiss, in that moment admitting their feelings for one another, and setting up the tragic drama that will unfold in the second part of the film. For the time being though, it makes our hearts fly. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.